Hello. <laughs> Hello, it's Janice from Welcome to Shabalot. It's today 1.30-ish, a couple minutes late. Apologize for that. Um, I'm here today to finish up what I said last week with you guys. And that is the blue flow pot. Isn't it beautiful? It's the first time I've done it. Um, and I'm going to finish it up today because this is actually a class that I offer at Welcome to Shabalot. So first, let me introduce to myself. My name is Janice. I'm a DIY paint retailer and IOD stockist. I have a store at Hope Artist Village that is named Welcome to Shabalot. And that's where I am today. And that's where I offer my classes. So this Blue Flow pot is just uh, one of those me what you call it, you know, the regular pots. Um, I can't think of what it's called. Uh, that I picked up at Job Lot. And uh, the first thing I did to it, so this is part two of the Blue Flow part, uh, Pot procedure. And the first thing that I did was I did three coats of a whitewash with um, DIY's White Swan. And um, then I were using the Rolls rose 12 stamp to get this um this design that is supposed to look a little bit like it's actually called blue flow which was a china pattern by staffordshire i believe and um blue flow came about because when, when while they were in the process of the heating up firing their china, um, some of the edges got blurred. And so I guess they kept it because it's kind of a really cool effect. So we're making up that effect today with DIY paint and the DIY, the IOD World Wild Stamp, which I saw at my store. If you come to my class, I have all of these things here for you. Um, everything you need to create these pots. I'll, I'll have the pots here, all the paints and the stamps. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create this blue, this blur that occurs. And how we do that is, let me first see what I'm gonna do. Let's start off small. Why don't we start off? Lettering. This is part of the Rolls 12 stamp. And this is the blue iris. This is the paint that we are using. Beautiful color. Perfect for this project. Um, I have a brayer. And I'm going to do, we're going to do, where did I put it? Things disappear on me terribly. So, these are some letters. I don't want them to be up here down. Uh, okay, so they go like this. So this, let's see where I want to put it. Maybe I'll put it right here or not. Maybe I'll put it. Gosh, my computer. Oh boy. Um. Let's put it right here, okay? What the heck? Right in the middle of the flowers that I need. So the, there already is some blur here. So I'm going to use a two tips that we use in this project. And one is called Wet on Wet. So the first thing we're going to do is get some wet paint on this transfer. I... Um, I'm not, I need to, all right, you know what I'm going to do? This is the bottom of the pot. So I'm going to put my paint on there. And then from there, I will, um, we, get a, we need a, kind of a lot of this blue iris paint. So I'm going to pour it on that thingy, which is like the water catcher <laughs> for the pot. And um, it's, it's good for me because I can put the brayer in there. Okay, so let me bring you closer. And so you can see that exactly what I'm doing. 
so you can see the table. Okay, so here's the stamp. I'm going to take just a very little bit of uh, paint because you can see it, it goes really far. This is not the best. I don't have the best. Hmm, I need something else. I need to be able to roll off this uh, paint because it's, you only need very little. So I'm going to put it on with the brayer. I want to get a nice crisp. I want to get a nice crisp impression from this. Yeah. So I'm going to put it right about here. So I'm going to spray the area wet with my continuous make spray mist bottle. And I'm going to take the stamp. This is the wet on wet. I want to make sure I don't do it upside down. Okay, and I'm going to put it right about here. All right, I'm going to give it a a little bit of a of a um, some pressure. I don't. You don't have to roll it like this. I don't know why I'm rolling it like that. If you're here, let me know who you are so I can say hello. All right, I'm going to show this is fine now. I'm going to lift this off. Ta da! So now we have some. We have some print amongst the flowers, and I'm going to spray it just a little bit to get some drippies. I could have made that a little straighter, um, but I'm not mad at it. So my goal today is to finish up. So I have I have a whole space here. This is my the smaller. Rose 12 stamp, I'm going to put um, probably something like this. I'll probably do this because I have it here like that. So now I want to do it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the paint. I'm gonna put the paint on the stamp. You see, yep, this is the blue iris, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blue iris paint. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the blur. So this is the blur part, not the, not the distinct impression part. So this is the blur, this is the distinct impression. So what I'm doing right now is positioning where I will put the good impression. I think I want to do something like this. Oops, shoot, I don't want to put it right on the dragonfly. And I'm just going to put a, um, some pressure on the stamp. But we are not going for, we're just going for the blur. And the reason why we do this is so that we know where to place the where to place the uh, stamp when we put the stamp on top. So now we have that, which came out pretty good for a. But we don't want that. We want to blur this out now. So we're going to take continuous mist spray bottle. And we're gonna let it drip. And we're gonna take my cloth. Now the last time this cloth did not work when I was blurring, I had to end up using a paintbrush to blur it. But I'm going to see if it'll work today. So you just kind of dab it with your cloth and blur out. You can be as creative as you want with this, you guys. This is totally creative because you place the stamps wherever you want to place them. You blur out as much or as little as you want. Um, it's important, though, to blur 
I'm just gonna wet it. I'm gonna try and blur it a little bit more. Boy, that paint is something. I'll tell you. I'm going to use my brush and try to blur it out with my brush. I, I have better luck blurring it out with my brush than I do with that cloth. I don't know what's up with that cloth. So I'm blurring it out with my brush. And if I, you know, when I have the classes, everybody will have their own brush to be able to blur it out like this. A lot of texture in that. The brush adds a lot of texture, so I'm not mad at that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to continue to, I'm going to pat it some more. Try to blur it some more. Terracotta, that's what this is. It's a terracotta clay pot. And it's really absorbing this, um, this paint. Okay. So I've blurred it out. I actually want to blur it out more. Okay, I think this is good. All right, now, yeah, that's good. Now I'm going to get the stamp, and I'm going to make sure that this stamp is, I'm going to wipe this stamp off from the last time, because I want a good crisp impression and the best way to do that is to make sure uh, you don't have excess paint on your stamp to um, so that the paint goes in all those crevices. I just want the paint on on the raised on the raised portion of the stamp. So that will be the only thing, the only impression I get. It's just this beautiful rose from the rose twelve stamp. Okay. So I think I'm all right now. I'm going to use my brayer again and put it. It's the light coat of blue iris. Try to get a good impression. And we're going to put this right over the blur to get that That's it, and you apply some light pressure. Try not to shift the stamp at all, because if you do, you might get, um, you won't get such a crisp stamped impression. So I'm just gonna put some pressure all over this. especially around the edges. In the middle. Okay, now we're gonna lift it and see, see how it looks. Ta-da! So there we have, we have the impression there. 
It's a little blurred. I don't know why, but you know what? I will be um, sanding this. I'll be sanding this. I'm almost done. I want to finish this today. So I'm looking for a spot to put another another impression. Um, I think I, all right, so this is basically the spot that I have left. Kind of goes like that. So what I did last time was I used half, half of a stamp um, to get this impression here. So I think I will do something similar to that this time to get to get it go in in this space here. So let's see how to do that. So I'm going to flip this over and I think I'm going to use the other side. I wasn't good. I didn't clean my my I didn't clean my stamp so. I should have. All right, so um, you will have very beautiful clean stamps for your class. I'm going to just kind of put some paint around the bottom part of the stamp. So pretty. Okay. And now, so this is the impression part. I'm going to lay that like that, just like this. See how that looks. And if it goes up on the lip, that's great too. Apply some pressure. This is gonna be the blurry part, so I don't need to have the best impression. All right, because we're just gonna blur it out. There. See that? That's really pretty. The half, like you don't have to use the whole stamp. That's perfect. So now I'm going to get my spray mist bottle and try to blur. I'll try it again with the cloth. Cloth doesn't work for me, but I keep trying. Try to blur it out with the cloth. Um, then if that doesn't work, I will go to the, the paintbrush. I'm really excited about sanding this because it's very, you know, this blue iris is a very dark color. And it needs sanding. I need to distress it. So as soon as we get all of these on here, we will distress them. actually do a little bit of rubbing in addition to blotting because they really are um, resisting the, they're really resisting this blurred thing that I'm trying to do here. Okay. All right, so that's blurred. It, it could be blurred more, I feel like. Like the really dark spots here should really be blurred more because you don't want that double vision effect. So like when we put the crisp on there and then there's another something sticking out because I didn't blur it enough, it won't look right. It's better to just have the this haze of blue around the good impression. Okay, I guess that's good enough. These are one of a kind original pieces. Nobody will ever do it exactly like you. All right, so now I'm going to use my brayer and I'm going to 
it's dry, it's not wet. So we're gonna make sure that it's not, that might be what this one might been might have been still a little wet. That's why it didn't come out very crisp right here. I could always blur that one and, and do it again, but I think I'm just gonna rely on my sanding tech skills to make that look awesome rather than doing it again. So I'm gonna make sure I have enough blue iris on this stamp. Get a good impression. The rares are great. They really keep the paint where they're supposed to be. When you use the paintbrush sometimes, the paint will go down to those crevices and you to get a good impression. So this one, this one came out nice. Is that the one did that one? Okay, so now I'm going to try to remember how I did this. Whoops, where's the paint? The paint is, is it like that? Yes. What was it? It was like, me. It was like this. All right, so now this is supposed to be the good impression, you guys, I'm nervous. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna press it down, apply some pressure on the stamp. It's, it's, a, very, it's a simple project for a beautiful, beautiful result. Have to rush. Just press, press. Put the pressure on as long as you want. When you feel like it's on there, take it off. All right, I think I covered the whole thing. Take it off. Yeah, that one came out really good. See that one? That one came out beautiful. So basically the whole pot is covered. Except I need to do a couple more things. I need to do, we have the, um, the dragonfly. I already have one dragonfly on here, way over here. But I can very easily do another one. And... The way I did that dragonfly was I first did it wet on wet, then I blurred it out, and then I did a crisp impression once it was completely dry. So we'll put another dragonfly over here, maybe right there. So I'm going to put some blue iris on the dragonfly. So the IOD sisters do this. This is an IOD stamp. These are DIY paints. The IOD sisters did this. Um, they put out a video how to how to do this with their rose trial stamp and their brayers. And um, I thought it was a very very good would be a really good fun project for a class. And it's, these pots are beautiful. I, I plan on making a bunch of them for Mother's Day. And I'm going to be making gift baskets with a pot already done or a pot not done. And uh, giving them the, and then putting in the stamp and the paint so it'll be a, a kit. It'd be a nice DIY planters uh, for a Mother's Day kit. So there's our, there's our dragonfly. He came out pretty good, so I'm not I'm not going to do anything to him. I do want to put some more words. I have I'm gonna put this one on again. I had just put it there. I'm gonna put it again. Maybe I'll put it right here. So we'll put a little bit of paint on this. 
You know what? Not there. You know where I'm going to put it? I'm going to put it on the other side. Wait. Oh, no, I can't because, look, it's right there. I can't put it there. All right, I can't do that. So I won't do that. I instead will put it. So if I put it here, I want to be mindful of where. And it's kind of close. I'd rather have it back to back. I can do it. All right, so this, I'm going to wet the surface. And I'm going to put some paint on the stamp. I had to get it straight this time, guys. I didn't get it very straight last time. See ya. Apply some pressure. Do, 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 do. Okay. See how that came out. If you don't really like the way it came out, I'm not happy with that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blur it. Blur it. Blur it any way it feels right to you guys. <laughs> Again, I am not following the rules, but I am doing it the way I feel like it's working for me, and that's with using my fingers. Okay, so now I'm going to put paint on this guy again. I have enough paint. Okay, I'm going to do it again. All right. So there's a little bit too much paint right there. A little bit of a blob there. I'm going to try it. So, all right. So Paris goes at the bottom. Oh, boy. Oh, I shifted it, so it might be blurry. If it's blurry, we can just fix it. I can't wait to sand it. Get that really cool. Distress look going on. There we go. That's good enough. So here it is. Pretty much done. Now, I'm going to distress it. Hello. I, I thought it would be better if I had the camera. You can see. So I have my, my, my sanding block, and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just distress this. Um, so I know these two were done. Previous and this one, you could already still see the terracotta coming through.
I like to have a lot of terracotta coming through. One of these are just sure it's nice and smooth. Beautiful. This one I just put on, so I'm going to wait a little bit, sand that one in a little bit. Feels nice and smooth. This one I did uh, last week, so this one's just ready to be sanded. Funny because sanding it is giving it more of a blur around the edges because it's loving the paint. This dragonfly I just put on, so I'll let him sit for a little bit. A piece of lots of love. <laughs> I want it to come out. I want it to look really pretty. This one, I already sanded it today, but I'm going to sand it with it a little bit more. That one's really pretty with the terracotta coming, coming through. Can see, so you can see the difference between sanded and not sanded. So that's not been sanded yet. That's been sanded. So they're a little bit even more blurry. And we're distressing it for the, the terracotta to come out. You can distress it as much and as little as you like. I want this one to be smoother. My chin box has seen better days. It's ready to hit the garbage. Not very, not very, uh, not doing very much. This one. Is not my favorite. This one did not come out good. So I have to work. I don't know whether I will put on. I, I am going to put on another impression on this because, look, it's mostly blur. So this one, I think it was still a little wet when I put on the, the impression. When I put on the stamp, so I will do that one again. This that dragonfly. It's been on for a while, so he's good. Yeah, I gotta put on another impression on this one. I'm not gonna sand it anymore. Different thing, but maybe this one's a little This one's a little bit better.
I want to use this lighter sander on this one. This blob right here, I'm not a big fan of, so I'm going to Doesn't look right. Now I'm going to do have to do another impression. This one not very good as the first one that I did today. So I get some I'll get some. Blue iris on the stamp. Again, I think it's because when I sprayed, when I sprayed, it was still wet. So I'm not going to spray before this stamp. I want this one to go on wet on dry. Paint is wet, pot is dry. Wet on dry. This one was positioned like something like that. So put that down, see how that goes. What a nice, crisp, sharp impression of these beautiful roses. They're like Bunches of roses, bouquets of roses, I should say. Just down hard. It's me. All right. I think that's good enough. i lift it off. There we go. So now we have a much better impression here. So I will let that dry and then I will sand it some more. Um, what I'm gonna do now, what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take my little painter's brush I'm going to take my white swan and I'm going to touch up any areas that have, that have, um, that look dirty. The paint is in the places where it's really not supposed to be. So I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. I'm going to do it with pouncing to apply some, some texture. Mostly in here, I'm gonna clean clean up the uh, the lip inside here. My hands are full of blue paint, so um, really should clean them. Every time I touch it, I'm getting more blue paint. You don't have to do this. I mean, it is a shabby chic design, um, being all blurry and stuff, but I still have, you know, we still have, we still want it to look, we still want it to look pretty. We don't want to have messy spots all around. So, 
I'm just doing that to clean it up. I will not be sealing this because you, if you're going to use it outside, um, you might want to seal it with your own poly acrylic so that so the class we won't we will not be feeling um you could put it out without sealing it if it's indoors you can uh, just use a wax but um i'm just gonna keep going through this and make sure if there are any spots that i don't like i'm gonna cover up i want it to look clean and then, and plus it's giving me time for the other one to do, the one I just put on to dry. And uh, then I can go sand that one. And uh, sand that one. And then I'm going to one more step is the green moss. So I'm gonna get out my fancy farm girl and add some green, green moss. Good, I don't think I need to cover up anything else. That's good. Okay. So the farm girl I need to go get. I will be right back. How I'm gonna do the fancy Okay, um girl. Yeah, perfect. On the bottom of this pot. And along the you know, different spots, but mostly on the bottom. I love the texture we're getting with the towel. And put a little bit on the top. I did not put a lot of the blue glow on top. I'm not sure why. Um, and but if you are taking this class, you can put as much. You can put it wherever you want to put it. Just gives this another layer of depth and um, interest into this. So I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put some moss, like just totally random. Around just to, just to give this some more. So basically, this is it. I'm going to make sure it is all, I'm going to sand it another time. 
So I'll be sanding it another time uh, when when all that the green moss paint is dry and the blue is dry. And there it is. I really think that a shiny. It's funny because the IOD sisters were saying they liked the the, the not shine. But for some reason, I kind of think a shiny um, protectant for the outdoors would look really nice on this. So whoop, thank you so much for joining. And um, if you catch us on the replay, please say hello. So I know you are here if you have any questions. If it's something that you think you're interested in taking the class, um, I do have events out there for this Thursday night and this Friday night at 6.30, I believe, 6.30 to 8.30 in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Um, but I'm going to be scheduling them all throughout the spring and the summer, and you can just pick whatever days are right for you. If you'd prefer to have a class just for a uh, private one-on-one, -on -one, we can do that. Just PM me. We'll pick a date and a time. Uh, or if you'd rather have a class for like you and your group, I can have five students. Um, I'll do up to five students at once and we can pick the time and the date that is right for you. So per, uh, personal message to me uh, what you would like if you would like to do that. You go home with a beautiful pot. It's going to be nice. So anyway, thank you so much for joining and I will uh, see you later. Ha uh, have a good day. It's beautiful. Bye.